All right, what is going on YouTube? It's Saki here, and we are going to be reviewing this ESP Black Metal M4 bass guitar. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button real quick, and let's jump right into it. Um, I do want to say too, I'll be posting links in the description for all of the shit that I use for the guitar, so you can look at the specs for the bass amp that I use. That way, it's like there's no. If you have any questions, you don't have to ask me. You can go look, and if you want to ask me, please do. I'll be happy to give them my input, but. Um, you know, I'll post the link so you can do your own research. That's what you like to do. Um, yeah, let's jump right into it. So what you get with this bass is you have a Goto pickup, or Goto pickup, Goto bridge uh, made in Japan. You've got a single volume knob, and then you've got a single EMG pickup. Um, on this fretboard here, there are no inlays when you get it. Um, I got inlay stickers just because when I'm jamming with my bandmates I like for them to know where I'm at on the neck um, and they like it too in fact they were the ones who were like yo you should get some inlays man I'm like yeah no I should get some inlays um, but that way you know if we're playing something up here and we're just jamming and I slide down they know oh okay I see exactly where he's at and they can either come down with me or they can go up to something different you know to kind of balance things out um, and vice versa I could do the same because they have inlays. Inlays are important. I think inlays are very important if you're jamming with other people. If you play by yourself and you're a solo player, I don't, uh, inlays, pff, who cares, right? All you need to know is, is the inlays on this thing here. Which brings me to the next point. These inlays on the side, the dots, they are glow in the dark, which is pretty cool. They glow in the dark green. Um, it's glow in the dark, right? Pretty cool. Uh, the headstock, it does have the new LTD logo. So there's that new printed LTD logo, kind of looks like the Batman symbol almost. Pretty cool. And shaped like a spear. So if anyone jumps on stage and you ain't having it, you can just get off my stage, you know, real quick. Um, one thing I will mention is that they have the M4 and they have the AP4. Pretty much the same base, the difference being uh, the body shape. So with the M, it's going to be shaped more like the... That's also an M style seven string guitar behind me. So it's kind of that classic rocker, that, you know, metal shit, right? And then the AP4 is gonna be more like that Ibanez behind me, right? It's weird, everything's backwards right there. Um, and also the headstock is a little bit different shaped. It's got like a little curve in it and whatnot. Um, in my opinion, it's the same base both ways. It's just, hey, which one do you like better, right? Uh, some people do say, though, that the headstock shape has an effect on how the strings sit, how it sounds, same with the body shape, so it's really up to you what you're going after. I would definitely look at both of them on their website, aside from there. Um, overall, this is a great bass. I really love this thing. I've played a lot with it. I really like this bass. I wish it was a five string. Um, also wish they made a six, but uh, the four is cool. Down with four, it's that classic Corvette in the hands, right? Um, string spacing feels really nice on this. I like that they are spaced out quite a bit. Uh, unlike kind of like my, my six string Dean over there, you get the, the strings are really, really close together, right? Whereas this, I mean, you got space for days. I can fit, I can fit my fingers in here. So it, it's, um, it's pretty cool. It makes playing a lot easier, right? It makes finding notes easy. Um, four strings just a overall easier instrument to play in my opinion. But it's great. Um, one thing I will mention, is the feel of this is slightly different. So it doesn't feel like wood, and that's a weird thing to say. But if you look at like the Ibanez or the Dean or anything, and you flip it over, right, you see the grains of wood, right? You can see the wood, you can see it, you can see it in the body, especially in that Dean over there. It's not like a uh, gloss coating or a gloss finish or anything. It's basically just stained wood, right? So you can feel the wood in the, in the instrument. With this, it's very strange to say, but it feels synthetic. I don't know how to explain it. Now, I think this is probably just because of the coating they use to get this black matte finish right all throughout the all throughout the base, even on the neck, on the headstock. Um, but the feel of it kind of takes away the wood feeling. So I don't really... It is wood, but it doesn't feel like wood. Until you play it, of course. When you start playing... It feels like wood. You know, you get the vibrations coming right through his horn into your chest. 
That's what I love the most about these basses is um, I love the horns on the bass, like that theme behind me. See how big the horn is on that? I freaking love that, man, because it sits right up in here. And you can really feel the, the vibration coming through, you know, which is cool. Um, see, another thing about this, I did put super brights on this, um, or high beams, DR high beams. Uh, I put those on this instead of the uh, stock Didarios that it came with, and then I also ran Black Beauties on this for a bit. Wasn't a big fan of the Black Beauties on here. One, because they're black. The guitar's all black. You can't see shit. You cannot find the strings. Like, you can, but it's like, you're trying, right? Um, and the, the, the coating flaked off really easily. I do really like these high beams on this. I think it's a really good pairing. Um, Will I switch down the road? Probably. I'll probably try something else. So if you guys have any string recommendations, let me know. Um, but as of right now, man, this is a really cool setup for a four string. It's extremely simplistic. Again, you got the single EMG pickup, the single volume knob. There's not a ton of knobs down here that you're slapping around when you're jamming. I mean, this is really like the metal player's instrument right here. Um, it's a great bass. I love this thing, especially paired with my Blackstar U250 amp over there. I can really just punch out a lot of different tone types without having to mess with any knobs here. It's more just walk over to my amp, change a few settings, and I got a whole new sound, right? Um, it's pretty cool. I really like this thing. I really recommend it. Uh, if you can't afford it, I recommend it. If you can't afford it, I recommend saving up for one and grabbing one. Um, it's definitely going to stay in the collection forever. This is a, a great bass, and I'm really happy that I got one. Um, the only thing I wish they did was made, like I said, made a five and a six. That'd be cool. If I could get a five and a six string in the same bass, I'd be a happy camper, man. Thank you.